Gibbs, look at the picture. Let's get him down to the Of your hand. Leave it alone. Get away from that picture. Hey, watch it, John. John, stop it. Please stop him. Talk about non-violence. You're right, kid. Yeah, just... Control by the picture. Well, there's not much left of it now. Well, where's he gone then? Jaunt enough to cause havoc somewhere else. He didn't jaunt. However he went and wherever he went, he did not jaunt. We must go after him. Yeah, we might be able to do that if we knew where he was. So much for your superpowers. Before John disappeared, he and I had been collating the information we have got so far. In every school or college where the blue and green craze has really taken root, there is at least one picture like the one in your classroom. In every case, the picture was painted by a pupil. And each of these talented pupils has a notably hazy background. They are all looked after by a single elderly person of the same sex. None of these elderly people can remember a time when they did not look after their children, nor do they seem to recall how they came to be caring for them. A trust fund based on a numbered Swiss bank account sends money every week, and none of the children are mentioned in any official records. Yes. So what do you make of it, Tim? I have no definite conclusions at this stage, only theories. Well? Stephen will tell you that I hate to commit myself to opinions without being sure of the facts. John's life is at stake, perhaps not only his. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Very well. There are amongst non-jaunting species many different and ingenious ways of travelling through space. One way could be to transmit your travellers so that they were born on and grew up on the world you wish to colonise. But that wouldn't work. Once born onto a planet, they would never be able to get off it again. True, but it's possible Can I chip that... in with a thought? Of course, Elizabeth. No, it's too stupid for words. Impossible. No, nothing's impossible. Go on, Elizabeth, tell us. Well, I was thinking about what you said, about space travellers being born on this planet. Supposing when they grew up they could leave, could fly away into space, like birds leaving their nests, like cuckoos. That is ingenious. But ridiculous. I'm not so sure. But whatever Robert is, it doesn't really matter. He's got John, and I'm going after him.
It's me, Stephen. Get out of here, Stephen. Not without you. Why don't you tell us where you were? Why don't you jaunt out of here? I can't. Something down here prevents us from using our special powers. Tim. Elizabeth. You're right, it's affected me too. Well, we'll just have to walk out of here. Is there a key to this door somewhere? Get out of here, Stephen. Get out of here when you can. But get Chris to help. If we can't use our special powers, we'll need his strength. It's all right, I've got a stunger. All right, Stephen. I know you're down here. No good, Stephen. Doesn't work on me. Neither will your rather unusual powers. On the pain, I can't do anything. Run for it, Stephen, run for it. I couldn't do anything. There was nothing I could do. I was completely helpless. Thank goodness you got away. Yeah, but I had to leave John there, though. Well, why couldn't he come with you? You got away. Why couldn't he? Well, he was locked up, too. And he couldn't use any of his special powers, either. I think it's time I paid this little shop a visit with some friends of mine. after we got him out, right? to open this door. No, Chris, you go. Get out of here while you can. Hand up, I should. Oh. Ah. Well, wait while I reload. Not likely. Uh. Uh. Whoa. Never mind, Chris. Full marks for trying. I should have gotten. There were three of us. We didn't expect you'd succeed. But it was all going so well until those fools went berserk. I don't know what came over them. One minute everything was going fine, the next minute all hell broke loose. Sounds like the influence of the picture to me. Oh, yeah. don't blame them, Chris. They couldn't help it. They probably didn't know what they were doing. It's not the point, is it? As soon as I get to school in the morning, I'm going to take that picture down and destroy it.
Don't take the picture down. Oh, I think it's been up long enough, don't you, Robert? No. Well, it can't stay up there forever, Robert. I think you'd be wise if you left it where it was for the moment. Well, if it means that much to you all... Stephen, do calm down. Pacing up and down won't solve anything. Relax a little. Yes, I'm sorry. Stephen, Tim? Elizabeth? Is Robert at school with? No, I... he came early and stopped me from taking the picture down. I think the boys would kill me if I tried. He's got them under his power, all right, but now he's gone. She says he's gone. Left to school. But without me, he hasn't. <laughs> Uh, can I talk to you about John? Charging Chris with Robert's disappearance is one thing. Proving that he is responsible is quite another. No, oh, but they'll still get him for something, though. For assault, dangerous driving, evading arrest. There's always something they can cook up. They don't have to cook up anything. By Chris's own admission, he is guilty of all those things. But only because he was trying to help us. He can't tell the police that, though. So we must help him. Yes, and John. We've got to overcome that, Robert. Well, whoever and whatever he is, and rescue John. Well, that's what Chris was trying to do when he committed those crimes. It's hard to believe that Robert or anyone else can keep John locked up in the cellar of a junk shop and that we'd be unable to rescue him. Come here, Priscilla. Come I'm coming. Ah, I'll be with you. Ah, ah there's somebody at the door. Would you like to come in, officer, sir? sir. I'll never know why I let you talk me into this, Christopher Harding. Because in the first place, the book tells you to search for missing kid is in his own home, right? Are you, are you gentlemen come about my Robert? Uh, yes, yes. I'm afraid we are going to have to search your shop. That is, if you don't mind. Well, I don't see the point of it, officer. You should be out there looking for my poor lost grandson, not coming in here and tramping all over the place and treating an old man like... Oh, well, and... we, we are uh... looking for your grandson, sir. That is why we are searching your shop. Well, you're not going to find him under there, are you, officer? If, we, if he was here, I wouldn't have called the police, would Just I? Just a matter of routine, I do assure you, sir. What? Routine. Routine? Sir. Oh, well, you can do your routine if you like, but don't mess up the shop, why? Uh, uh, it's down there. Shall I lead the way? Here, yeah, you'll lead the way. It's down there. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much, Harding. I'm in charge of this investigation, if you don't mind. Thank you. Very big feet they've got. They never do a routine with feet that size. Uh, oh, yeah, my girl. 
hide the stolen property. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Harding, you have had your little laugh. We will now proceed in an orderly manner to the station where we will further book at you. But it was here. I swear it was here. Uh, and John, this, this, this friend of mine with the special powers, he was locked up in a dungeon. Oh, yes, yes. Look, Harding, if you think you can dodge what's coming to you by trying out the old Tweety Bird Act on a trick cyclist, you have got another thing coming. But it was here! John! John! If I was to kiss you, Harding, would you turn into a beautiful princess and tell me that a wicked witch had put a spell upon you? Come on, lad. I've heard enough fairy stories for one day. Oh, they walled him up. They walled him up! <laughs> 